my god, I had a... <laughs> I can't throw him up. I am my own boss. Aceitas isto. Ah, <laughs> ah, Muchas obrigada. Forgotten something. <laughs> it's always like this. <sighs> hi everyone, how are you doing? Jad, hi, how are you doing? Welcome. And Groom, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Hope you have a good evening or a good day. Whew. being late and um, and uh, not telling anything um, but you guys know how it is at this point 
You already knew I would probably be a bit later. If I wasn't gonna stream, I would definitely warn you guys. I, um, it's just that, um, the recording, uh, when, uh, when I finish the recording, I, uh, stick around to, uh, I stick around to talk a bit more with Squitch, and, uh, by the time we finished, it was already almost eight. Yeah. <clears throat> Happy I got a bit. Yeah, I saw, I saw. That's nice. Hey Johnny, how are you doing? <sighs> this there might be something coming. Oh you can't, you can't just say that and- Ah! That's what you meant! <laughs> ah, you sneaky bastard. You sneaky bastard. Oh my god, wait, stop! Stop sending the messages, ah! I'm trying to give him a shout out! There we go. <laughs> Strategy! Now I have no archers either! <laughs> Strategist, thank you so much for the raid! Uh, right after I got Coleman A rank support with her as well. How are you doing? Hi Take! Take Takeshi. I'm gonna call you Takeshi. Do you mind if I call you Takeshi? Yay. Calling you just Take feels kinda weird. But don't mind me calling you Takeshi. You were right, Cole. I am a class. But yeah, thank you so much for the raid! What do you call a successful ratio when your Twitter is suspended? Damn! What happened? Also, welcome, username! Oh, that's nice. That's good. That's good. I'm doing... I'm doing great! I'm doing great! I also just had a big old for God fucking damn it! <laughs> I still... I still need to get the, um... The ingredients for the... Um, for the, the sauce, so that I can make it myself. Uh, but yeah, strategist, how was your stream? And uh, I see that you brought some other people. Hi! To, hi, welcome Raiders, for those of you who don't know me. My name is Alexa, I am a human with Fox years, and tonight we're gonna be playing Persona 3 Portal. Um, I usually play... I've been playing Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker on Mondays and Wednesdays. However, I have reached a point where I have um, kind of stagnated. I need to grind a bit more. Uh, so I'm gonna stop the Metal Gear streams for a bit. And I'm actually gonna be playing Medieval. So I hope to see you guys here tomorrow too for some Medieval. Uh... <clears throat> uh, but yeah, how was your stream strategist? <sighs> Damn! <laughs> oh yeah, that was a that was a successful ratio then. Yes, indeed, indeed. I've been reading the story. The art is incredible, and we're we're getting some cool stuff that we don't get to see. The RPG self gives characters that haven't had much development more. So some good and interesting changes. Hey, that's nice. The metal Gear in in order to be continued. <laughs> and speaking of Metal Gear, what I was talking just about, um, like before the raid, is that uh, for those of you who don't know, I actually was recording the second episode of uh for a podcast i've already been to the podcast uh twice once was for the anniversary of um the 30th anniversary of um of sonic 2 and the other time was 
to talk about Metal Gear Solid. So today I was actually recording for Metal Gear Solid 2. Not only did we defeat the Demon King with our army of royals for all extremely training combat, but we finished him off with Ross, who's basically some child who grew up in a small village with his dad. Ross is basically God now. <coughs> I don't know who he is, but bless Ross, and may everything good come to him now. <laughs> I have no idea what that is, username. Yeah, that is kind of a bummer. They should have really thought about that part. They should have given it like a, a one year um, time period. <laughs> oh my god, you ratioed, you ratioed someone with the picture of a gun. Amazing. The cult of Ross has now been formed. <laughs> I would call it a fan club. I also gotta find out the. Okay. <laughs> Roblox moderation found a new rival in terms of moderation. <laughs> oh right, I yeah I forgot to um, to remove the more mm, these types of songs. Uh, I'm gonna skip it. It's a lightweight semi automatic rifle based on similar to Colt AR 15 design. Colt model removed the selective fire feature of its predecessor, the original Armalite AR 15. <coughs> itself a scaled down derivative of AR 10 designed by Eugene Stoner. From Wikipedia! <laughs> I shall not ignore it. Ooh, interesting. Hey Elmer, how are you doing? Uh oh. Who's the man? Well, I mean, if it's two hours long. Hey, <laughs> who's the man? Jump is the man. I, I, there is actually a video that I kind of want to watch, and it's about the Netflix adaptation of the Avatar. I don't have my own opinion on the show cuz I don't I haven't seen it and I really don't care for it. But I like watching this person's videos. For example, I didn't think she would like, but apparently she did. Um she did like uh Hasbin Hotel. 
Still didn't make me want to watch it, but eh. If she liked it, that's good. One thing's for sure for tonight. I'm sorry. One thing's for sure for tonight. Come midnight, I am ending the stream. Like, whatever I'm doing, I finish it. Hey! <laughs> whatever I'm doing, I finish it. I, end, I save the game, I end the stream. Boom, that's it. Because, one, I am really, really, really tired from standing inside of my booth for five hours and two I have to wake up early tomorrow <clears throat> yeah Oh, you're going now? Or at around like when I finish the stream? I don't. Where's my thing? Good question. I, um, I'm not sure he's even in this game. from Golden. You have Elizabeth, you have Theodore, you have Margaret, you have Marie, and you have Caroline and Justine. Why the hell does the Overseer look like Ikutsuki? Why the fuck does the Overseer look like Ikutsuki? Wait. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. I think it is supposed to look like Ikutsuki. Oh, it definitely is supposed to be Ikutsuki. I'm, I'm gonna show it. I'm gonna show it to you guys. Okay, no, I need to do it like this. Okay. <clears throat> so, so uh, you have this. Let me just. Uh, you have this, right? Oh shoot. Uh, yeah, not a good idea. That. Uh, phew, sure. Okay, I'll do it like this. In fact, no, in fact, I'll do it like this. Uh, give me a second. Uh, shoot. Dang it. Ah, see, full size. Full size. 
full size, full size, and full size. You are going to laugh so much. You're gonna laugh so hard at, at the um. So. There you go. So you have. It is Q. It is, this is from Q2. Oh, okay, okay, at the end of the stream. Sure thing, Omar. Uh, to be honest, Reddit memes are better than Twitter. True. I, I mean, it, it kind of depends. Quite an interesting design for the outfit. Just inspired on film rolls and a pair of 3D glasses. Yes, but that is not all. By the way, what it says on her dress is Velvet uh, Climax Theater. So we have Elizabeth. We have Margaret. We have Marie. <laughs> Marie just looks like her normal normal self. Uh, in fact, they all look normal. It's just <laughs> I love it how it's just the three, the characters from three. Uh, Margaret, you have Marie, you have Caroline and Justine, get ready, boom. There he is, my friends. The man in all his glory. I'm just waiting for Johnny's. Oh my god, Johnny, what the fuck? What do you mean you don't usually eat popcorn? What the fuck? I was going to say he's a giant popcorn bucket as a joke, but I never expected for him to actually be a giant popcorn bucket. <laughs> yes. He said once, expect the unexpected. Yes. Guys, give me a second because something just occurred to me and I have to say it before I forget. Okay. <laughs> I know what. Yeah. Hmm? yeah. Um, I will eventually bring that game. You know what? I might bring it after I finish Persona 3.
Um. Yeah, I really, I really gotta uh, bring back the um, the nostalgic retro games more often. Tiny, we're turning. <laughs> it means that it takes two songs to reveal the photos. A quarter to start the reveal process, and two and a half songs to fixate the photo. Huh? That's cool. we're all a little loony unless both are correct I don't know I don't think I've ever heard the um, I don't think I've ever heard the song ah okay 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 Where everybody's gonna add their cards in the way. I've waited almost an entire. Well, now really is the time to wonder if um if it's gonna get a dub. More than any. Jeremy is free. I'm just waiting for the song to end.
Well, there you go. There we go. <clears throat> so let's go ourselves. Uh, no, not here. It's here. Oh, thank God. Okay, let's go. Oh yeah, we, we are not going to Tartarus until like we finish the <laughs> the um, <clears throat> the studies, which is. Um, Next week! I'm screwed. Oh, please tell me I'm no longer tired. Please tell me I'm no longer tired. Please tell me I'm no longer tired. You're no longer tired because you're rested. Oh my god, yes. The morning sunrise feels so refreshing. The sunlight reflecting off the windows is beautiful. Yeah, it's because the building wasn't built that long ago, so everything is still gleaming. You know, I heard from my parents there was an explosion here 10 years ago. They replaced the building after that, but there's more to it too. Around that time, a lot of students stopped coming to school. Maybe that's why they put up the new building, to start with a clean slate. An explosion? Did someone screw up in the chem lab or something? That must have been a dangerous lecture. Let's talk about the hay and error today. I won't spend a lot of time on this, so pay attention. In 794, the hand cure was established. It's the <laughs> I don't want to study! <laughs> How are you doing, Tony? Uh, the hand cure was established in, eight, in 894, the day of Polish Imperial Embassies to China. I might put this on the section of the XM next week. I'm feeling lazy. Anyways, on to feudalism. Listen carefully because this has to do with the origins of the samurai. I choose you, Alexa. Let's see if you know. What law served as its foundation for the development of feudalism? The Sanze Ishinoho? You can do better than that. You're descended from the samurai. 
correct answer is Kondan Einen Shizai Ho. This law was enacted because the previous law, the Sanzei Shin no Ho, didn't help. The farmers got lazy. Not that that's unusual for any era, but that's all for the Heian period. Your answer was incorrect. God damn it. That's good to know, Tony. Since intense power dip within Tartarus, it seems a path that was blocked is now open. Please be careful. Have a nice day. The call ended. Welcome back. With each full moon, the shadows are getting stronger. They are employing more dangerous attacks as well. So even though we have a lot of time until the next full moon, we had best use that time wisely. If you choose full assault, we will all attack, so we won't heal or support. You'll have to do that, Alyssa. Do your part. It's okay to reflect on your victory, but there are exams next week, so you should focus on them. Oh, it's you. Look, if it's not an emergency, can it wait? I don't feel like talking to anyone. Ugh, he's still acting like an asshole. Senpai spends too much time thinking about all this. She would probably do just about anything to annihilate the shadows, but don't you think that's a little obsessive? Yeah, maybe. There are a lot of old sayings about maintaining balance in your life. They also warn against being too obsessive. It's good to do your best all the time, but it's not good if everyone is out of step because they're all trying to too hard. Let me see if there's anything new in the command room. <coughs> I don't think so, but eh. Yep. Oh, I'm gonna go study. It, I think I can also go to the library at school. Silence, class is beginning. Seven hour to call. I plan on using the word magic in a very general sense, but today we'll talk about the single most magical place and time. Today's topic is the magic of medieval Europe. There are a lot of materials pertaining to Western magic from books to folklore. We'll cover all of it, including the changes it's gone through. As I mentioned last time, European magic has its origins in paganism. Starting with Christianity, though, it's been influenced by the influx of various cultures. Some well-known examples are Kabbalah, the study of the mystic... Sorry, uh, Kabbalah? Uh, is it Kabbalah? I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Wait, let me check.
Okay, so it's uh, Kabbalah. Kabbalah, the study of the mystical aspects of Jewish texts. Gnosticism, a Christian sect founded by Simon Mag as a sorcerer. Parisi's philosophy and natural sciences were the fruits of magical researchers. The same was true for Islam's scientific advances, which surpassed Europe's at the time. Now, as for the circumstances of magic in this age, it was an era where the rule of Christianity and the side of natural sciences collided. Magicians bravely reached out for a connection with the gods. Are you well awake? They're not daydreamy, right? <laughs> a little test as if you were listening. Get it wrong and you'll get a scary guardian angel. Sevna Urukwa. Who should I choose? Alright, Alisa, I asked thee. What is the mystical study of Jewish texts? It's the Kabbalah. Oh, very good. The magicians of the age achieved great things, particularly the famous grimoires. Grimoires are collections of a wide range of magical texts, and you get the correct answer. Your charm has increased. <gasps> Finally! Yes! I can finally go out with Akihiko! Hey Jugas, how you doing? <laughs> you jerk! Hylian... Hylian 9, hi! Welcome! Welcome to my stream! How are you doing? My name is Alexa, I'm a human with five years, and today we're playing Persona 3 Portable. Oh, Alexa, today's practice, you coming? It's fun too. No. Okay, I'll see you later then. I'm going to go jogging now. Maybe you should go to practice after school. No. I'm actually gonna run there and see if Akihiko is... Like there. I was g thinking of going to the library. Yes! Oh, it's you, Alyssa. Are you going home? Wanna walk home with me? Hey, Lewis, how are you doing? I'm not doing. I'm feeling, I feel very much tired. How about you? Same. Uh, like I said, I, um. I uh, had to record a uh, podcast today. And I spent five hours inside of my booth. I was sweating balls midway. Want to walk home with me? Okay. Do you mind if we stop somewhere on the way? There's something I've been in the mood. You can feel the glares of all the girls who walk past. Are they Akihiko's fans? You were able to deflect their glares with your overwhelming charm. Alright, let's go. Oh, now I'm having fish and chips. Podcast is a. <laughs> what? You're having pizza and chips. I had cardan blend chips. You were told I stream mall haga kare ramen. Akihiko brought you here. That her ball? Yeah, did. Shut the fuck up. You're okay with the special, right? Two extra large specials, please. Can I order some appetizers too? <laughs> yeah, eat as much as you'd like. You're paying, right, Akihiko? Akihiko seems happy for some reason. Physical strength is everything. Your skills are truly remarkable. But they won't be of any use if you get exhausted easily. Akihiko seems to be worried about you in his own way. In any case, you decide to eat the extra large ramen brought to your table. No, you can't. Thank fuck. Thank fuck you can't. I fucking hate that guy's guts. In fact, you can't hang out with him so much so that you actually have like the one of the best uh, social links. You can hang out with Junpei. Amazing, you completely polished that off. Somehow managed to eat it all, but your stomach is groaning. <laughs> Are you up for going to another restaurant? Another meal? Let's go! Are you sure? You don't look so well. 
Don't let yourself suffer just to be friendly. Seriously. Actually, I thought it was gonna be a good idea. I thought she was groaning me at the... <laughs> the time I was groaning because she was hungry. Yeah, besides, what the fuck would I want to hang out with someone as boring as Kenji? You must have a really small stomach. I'm a woman! And I am smaller than you, Akihiko. If you don't eat right, you'll never grow stronger. That is bullshit. You feel that Akihiko is treating you like a child. Why are you glaring at me like that? I'm not Junpei. I won't, get, I won't go easy on you just because you're a girl. Mitsuru was the, the one who recommended you to be our leader, but I thought you'd be best in that position too. So do your best and do a good job, okay? Our lives are on the line too, after all. And of course, we'll do our best to back you up as well. You're not the only one who's going to be trying hard out there. Because it's Akihiko's care for you. If I like you, understand Akihiko a little now. Jesus Christ, no! I already have to handle Kenji wh when I'm with Ryo. It's a bummer that that she likes him. Jesus fucking Christ. You have got to be like the only person I know who likes Kenji. Well, since we're done eating, I guess we should go back. Let's get a quick jog in to help settle our stomachs. You and Akihiko jog back to the dorm while he cheered you on. <laughs> Sup, dude? Oh no. No, Jackie's going for the if he has no fans, it's because I'm dead. One thing that I don't really love they did is you can spend time with Who's you. I like you, but you don't have any Arcana card on them. Yeah. Uh, you can also spend time with, um, with Shinji. Who's the man? Jump is the man! Sup, dude? Uh, I better go study since exams are coming up. It's okay to reflect on the victory. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, are they here too? Hey! Do not diss my boy Shinji! What did he- what did- why did he- why do you think he deserved that? No, seriously, do not- do not go around insulting Shinji. Seriously, I will not hesitate in banning you. Damn, Jesus Christ, man, you do not have any taste in people. You like hanging out with Kenji? And you think that Shinji... And, and you think that Shinji is not a good character? Jesus Christ! You do not have any taste, my guy. You do not have good taste. What next? You're gonna tell me you romance Chihiro? <laughs> oh, I will fall for that rage bait. You're joking. You are you are joking. You are actually joking. <laughs> oh my god, you're almost the most boring character of them all? Damn! <laughs> I'm sorry, Jackie, but you truly do not have taste. <laughs> you have no taste in friends, you have no taste in girlfriends. <laughs> Shaking my hand, man. <laughs> you should study tonight before going to bed. Yeah. <sighs> but yeah, uh, that's one thing that uh, Portable has. Not not Portable, that uh, FMC has that's better than DMC. Uh. Is that unlike with the with Makoto, you can actually have a social link with a whole team, which makes sense with each member of the team. It makes sense. So I don't know why they excluded all of the guys. 
Hey, what's up? Mm, exams are pretty soon. Have you been studying? Yep. Seriously? Like I care. Oh, man. Uh, give it some time, give it some time, give it some time, give it some time. Here we go, finally, we're up to Taido no Masakado, the turning point of the era of the samurai. It all began from him fighting among the Taida clan. Their conflict escalated until the Imperial Court intervened. Masakado was pursued by the Imperial Court and had no choice but to openly oppose them. The result was known as the War of Masakado. Alexa, you don't look anything like a samurai, but let's see if you know this one. What title did Taira no Masakado claim for himself? Uh, Imperial Prince? Correct! This will be on the exam next week, so be prepared, as he afforded a little to the Kamura Kamakura era. At last, the samurai's presence begins to be felt in history. In 1185, the Kabakura Shogunate was established. Yes, we're there. And of course, its founder was Minamoto no Yoritomo. I can't believe we're finally here. You get the correct answer? Your charm has increased. <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't expect to get roasted tonight, but I guess every day is an adventure. <laughs> I chucked in the grill, man. Nah, man. Nah. At least it's not Yukari. Yukari is even more interesting than Shihiro. Also, hi, Balin. How are you doing? I received a text message. It's from Akihiko. Nikutsuki san is coming tonight. He has something to tell us. We'll meet on the fourth floor as soon as everyone is back. God damn it! I was gonna go to the to the library. Why won't you let me go to the library? God fucking damn it! Oh wait, I can actually go to the library. Phew! Oh, faculty office hallway. Can I go to the library? Yes. Yes! What? <laughs> you said it by yourself in the library. You managed to solve a difficult problem. Your academics has increased. Let's go! Mitsuri is giving an account of the battle at the hotel to the to Itsuki. So that's what happened on the night of the 7th. It was a difficult operation. I see. They're getting tougher. But it's not all bad news. I called today's meeting because... I'm sorry. Before we go on, I'd like to ask Mitsuru-senpai something. Me? Since I've joined, so many things have happened. I went along with it without really understanding what was going on. But now, I need to know. Um, nope. I have no idea. I have been completely away from news uh, for quite a while now. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you straight out. You've been hiding something from us, haven't you, Senpai? You act like you don't know anything about the Dark Hour and Tartarus. But they're related to that accident ten years ago, aren't they? What accident? Yukari-chan! There was an explosion near our school, and a lot of people died. It must have been big news back then. You know about it, don't you? Yes. Luckily, no students were injured. But, around the same time, a large number of students were recorded as absent. Seems like more than just a coincidence. <coughs> what do you mean? I dug up some old school records and found something interesting. The students who were absent, they all collapsed suddenly and had to be hospitalized. Sound familiar? You know, like the girls who bullied Fuka. <laughs> there has to be an explanation. What really happened on the day of that accident? The, tell me the oh, truth. Shoot. Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh. The Kirijo group built our school, so you must know something. <clears throat> tell me the truth. 
I wasn't trying to hide anything from you. It just never seemed relevant. But... It's okay. It's not your fault. All right. I'll tell you the whole story. The shadows have many mysterious abilities. Some research indicates that they can even affect time and space. We think of them as our enemies, but what if we could somehow use them to our advantage? They would be a source of unimaginable power, wouldn't they? What? Fourteen years ago, one man pursued that line of thinking. He was the former leader of the Kirijo group, Koetsu Kirijo. My grandfather. My grandfather was obsessed with the shadows. He wanted to harness their power for something extraordinary. Like what? He assembled a team of top scientists, and over several years, he put together an impressive collection of shadows. <clears throat> you what? Damn, that's freaking crazy. However, ten years ago, during the final stages of the experiment, they lost control of the shadows' power. And in the process, the very nature of the world was altered. Oh my, do you mean... Yes, Tartarus and the Dark Hour. <sighs> By their account, the mass of shadows they collected split into several large ones that then dispersed. These are the shadows we've been encountering on nights when the moon is full. Is... Wait a minute. Gosh! Is that why they've appeared in different places? Wait a minute. If what you said is true, then why did our school turn into Tartarus? Don't tell me. That's where they conducted the experiment? Yes. Then, those students who were hospitalized... I'm afraid it's just as you're thinking. Port Island must have been an ideal location for them. It was a highly populated area, and the Kirijo group had influence there. They could do as they pleased. As you guessed, the experiment ten years ago was conducted at Gekukan High School. Does that mean all we've been doing is cleaning up their mess? You lied to us? You knew, too, didn't you, Senpai? They've just been using us. Or do you not care as long as you get to fight? Never said anything like that. I have my reasons. Think what you'd like. It was my decision not to share that information. I'm sorry. I never intended to deceive you. Convincing you to join C's was my highest priority. As absurd as it may seem, only we, with our personas, can fight the shadows. How could you? Besides, some of us were never given a choice. I... Mitsuro, don't. Yukari, it's those in the past who are to blame. And they lost their lives as a result of what they did. We're all in the same boat here. None of us deserve the burden that's been thrust upon us. But... <sighs> it's been ten years since that incident. No one knows why those shadows suddenly returned. But since they're active, at least we can find and destroy them. Do you realize what this means? What if I told you that those 12 shadows are the cause of everything? And then if we defeat them all, Tartarus and the Dark Hour will disappear? Exactly! <laughs> Mr. 10K suit. That's what I was going to tell you earlier. See, it's good news, isn't it? Is that true? There's evidence to support it. Now, our true battle begins. I see. <clears throat> Regardless of what's happened in the past, we must fight to protect the people. The shadows are gaining strength. We can't afford to just wait for them. Indeed. And there are many mysteries still surrounding Tartarus. Why did such a gigantic structure appear in the first place? The answer must lie within it. Hmm. Yeah. 
You must defeat the Twelve Shadows which started all this, in order to eradicate the Dark Hour in Tartarus. You must fight to protect the people. There are six left. Um, us? Oh, so stupid who doesn't understand what's going on. I'm going to review it with him. But if we defeat all soft shadows, then I won't have any more use for my persona. And such an amazing power. I can't let it go to waste. <laughs> Organization 12, I guess. <laughs> I'm very sorry about everything. If there is anything you would like to know, please ask. How did the public react? In the end, over 50 people were injured in the accident, and the media placed full blame on the Corrigio group for the tragedy. They singled out one researcher in particular, declaring him the main culprit behind it all. Whether this was actually true or not was not the issue. The public was looking for someone to vent their hurt and anger on, so they chose him, even though he was a victim himself. The wrath was unparalleled. The darker side of mankind was almost was most certainly on display during that time. You seem so calm. Must be because you could do anything. Compared to that, I'm just a mediocre fighter. Junpei, the only thing anyone knows about Tartarus is that it creates shadows. Other than that, we're all in the dark. Can we just say it? <sighs> Sorry. Just said a little foreshadowing. Oh, huh. I mean, this Steve Jobs is going evil. <laughs> <laughs> the rich dude, Ikutsuki. Ah, shadows in the dark. Sorry, I just don't feel like talking to anyone right now. Anyway, I have homework, so... I've caused trouble for you. We shouldn't see each other for some time. Perhaps you should study. I'm about to review my notes now. Hey, calm down, Jackie! Studying actually helps take your mind off things. I have no new recordings to watch. Nobody calls me tomorrow. Cause I'm gonna have to reject them. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, okay. There is only one person who usually hangs out at the Tumi Port Island back alley. Meanwhile, in the Tatsumi Port Island back alley. Nothing to do as usual, huh? Hmm? Hammer man. <laughs> That's not even a hammer, it's an axe. <laughs> Why are you here? If you came here to try and convince me, then forget it. It's nothing like that. I just wanted to see how you were doing. Huh? Why are you wearing a jacket? You don't know. Uh, it could be a really, uh, really cool jacket. We've known each other for a long time. It's been almost 14 years since we met at the orphanage. You, me, and Miki. We used to run around here until the sun went down. Back then, it seemed like we had all the time in the world. <laughs> you haven't changed one bit. If you want to get all sappy, go do it with your other friends. What was that? It's rare for you to think about the past. 
Usually, you just charge ahead like a damn fool. So obviously, there's something on your mind. <laughs> I do reminisce sometimes, but what's the point? <sighs> anyway, we finally know how to get rid of Tartarus in the Dark Hour. No shit. Yeah. To be honest, all I've been thinking about lately is getting stronger. But yesterday, someone made me question my reason for fighting. Your reason for fighting, huh? That's different for every person. But if you don't have a good one, you can always quit. Like I did. I'm not like you. Man, I can't believe I'm the one getting lectured here. <laughs> well, see you around. <laughs> you haven't changed at all. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Fuka's room at the dormitory. Yes? Can I talk to you for a moment? Senpai? Oh, please come in. I like Fuka's room. It's nice. Not only do you excel at providing support during battle, but also at obtaining information. Oh, I I'm sorry for doing that without permission. Don't worry, you're not in trouble, but I do have a special favor to ask of you. I want you to find out as much as you can about that incident ten years ago. But very little was made public. That's why I want you to access the Kirijo Group's database. You mean hack into their system? That's illegal. <laughs> the woman, the me, the legend. Wait, hold on. What do you mean? What are you trying to get, Jackie? I'll give you my ID and password. You'll be free from accountability. I want to know the truth. In detail. Senpai. Of course, I'll understand if you refuse. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Are you sure? I appreciate it. Yamagishi, aren't you resentful? After all, despite my good intentions, I did drag you into this without fully explaining. Certainly, you must be a little angry with me. Not really. You see, my parents have an inferiority complex because all my relatives are doctors. That's why they're so tough on me. It's really hard for me to be at home. But here, I feel important, and I can help you and the others. So why should I be angry? You're right, Yamagishi. We do need you. No one can take your place. Uh, um... Aw, look at her! Thank you. I'll see you later. She's so happy to be useful. She's happy to feel useful. Meanwhile, in front of Tatsumi Port Island Station. So, Tartarus and the Dark Hour will be gone, huh? Hi, hello, can I please uh, skip everything here, buy Tanaka's shit, and go study? We have exams tomorrow. That's good. That's what we've been fighting for. But... So why am I so pissed? Gosh, it's hot. Even for July. Seriously, but at least we're seniors now. We won't be wearing these stupid uniforms much longer. Yeah, I've had enough of this. I just want to get accepted to college and start having some fun. <laughs> I know why. Oh, I love Junpei. Junpei is, is best, but I actually wanted to romance Junpei. But given what happens... Uh, uh, forward in the game, uh, I can't understand why, and hey, let him be with his love. I'll stick with, Sin with Shinji, okay? Okay. I'm the reason. I was like, fighting is my duty, but hell, it's all I'm good for. If it weren't for that, it'd be worthless. No, no, but if it weren't for that, I would totally romance Chumbei. <laughs> my duty. What a bunch of bullshit. 
Even when it comes to fighting, she's just on another level. Damn it. Nothing I do is good enough. <sighs> Meanwhile, in your Kari's room at the dormitory. <sighs> nah, nah, yeah, Junpei starts off the game a little bit acting like an asshole. But then you understand his problem, and that's why I like him. Seems like my worst fears keep coming true. Am I stupid to believe in things like trust and friendship? Dad. This old letter of yours. I must have read it a thousand times since it came last spring. March 6th, 2000. To my family. Tomorrow I bring this letter to the opening ceremony for the Moonlight Bridge. It'll be stored in a time capsule and sent to you ten years from now. Yukari, you're so small right now, but in ten years you'll be 16. You'll be in high school. I know you've been sad because I have to work so late, but you still always greet me with a smile. I'm really proud of myself. Karijo san appointed me head researcher. I'll be starting on a big project soon, and I'm happy to be receiving so much recognition for my work. But I swear to you that nothing is more important to me than you and your mother. Dad. Yukari, are you remembering to enjoy life? Are you still bright-eyed and hopeful like you are now? No matter what happens in the next ten years, I hope you're happy. Well, I hope this letter brings a smile to your face. Love, Dad. No matter what happens, huh? I can't lose hope. For his sake. I won't turn my back. I won't be like Mom. Not ever. His hands are coming up. Uh, am I missing something, something, Jackie? Who is Osaka? Safety shoes and trickster. Sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll buy it. Academics has increased. Yeah. Oh, 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 okay. Dang it. Okay, fine. Ah, boy. <clears throat> Your room. You sense someone's presence. It's good to see you again. How long has it been since we first met? Time passes so quickly. So. How's life as a Persona user? Something's missing. I wonder what. I hope you'll find it soon. Okay, yeah? What is it, Johnny? I remembered something else about the coming of the end. It all goes back to an occurrence that took place many years ago. Ten years ago, if I remember correctly. Hey, didn't your parents pass away about ten years ago? Damn, Pharaohs, why you gotta say that? 
Uh, yes, yes it is. It is intentional. Yes. No, I don't know why they didn't make a female version of Pharaohs and do the same. <laughs> But yes, it is intentional. <sighs> a persona is like a mirror, which means a persona user can never escape from his true self. Regardless, I will stay with you. Yep. Because we're friends. He says a fate bond between you and Pharaohs. <laughs> You know who also doesn't have any parents? Akihiko and Shenji. No, oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna tell you who else doesn't have any parents. Give me some days. The Baudelaire's also don't have parents. Oh, who? Good night. Sucks for Aki, but for Shinji, damn, Aki lost his parents and his sister. I mean, no, technically, Akihiko has parents. He was adopted. He uh, he later on got adopted, but he still lost his sister. Uh, final start tomorrow. I feel like we just finished the exams a little while ago. What am I going to do if I fail again? I wish the school would impose our names. Yeah, that's the worst part. You get a bad grade and everyone looks at you like your dog just died. <laughs> Damn. Really? <coughs> exams start tomorrow. Are you all, are you all ready? Summer vacation is just ahead, so study hard. Summer is beach season, shaved eyes, Whee! It's also the hottest season, so don't neglect your health, okay? Oh, by the way, there's a popular event in Japan in the summer that can be a little scary. You feel tired. Close your eyes for a minute. Mm, oh, wait, no, uh, sailing. It's a girl's chance to get closer to the boy she's interested in. It's called Kimodameshi. Two people go somewhere haunted at night to test their bravery. If it's a boy and a girl, well... <laughs> anyway, enjoy your summer and make sure you come out of it with some good memories. You stayed up and listened to the lecture. Your academics has increased. <laughs> Were they all victims of the incident? Um, no. No, 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 no. Uh, the other character I'm thinking of uh, was a victim of the incident, but not as directly as others. In case of Yukari, in the case of Yukari, she has her mother, who's like negligent, uh, and she lost her father to the incident. As for Maturu, I don't really remember if we know anything about her mother. I don't think we do. In in the case of Junpei, I don't think I've also heard anything of his mother, but he has a very abusive father who beats him, and he already mentioned that. That's why he doesn't like. Uh, that's why he reacted so badly that one time with the drunk uh, fellow. Uh, Shinji has no parents. I don't believe they were. Uh, it was anything related to the incident. Uh, same for Akihiko and Miki. Uh, Miki's death is gonna be explained, but it has nothing to do with the incident. As for us, um, all I'm gonna say is yes. <laughs> Just play Monopoly and bet what? She implying doing the nasty? No, not exactly. Just, she just meant getting closer, you know, because the stereotype of going to see something scary and the girl gets scared and hugs the boy to like, Oh, protect me, save me from this scary thing. <sighs> oh, 
Okay. Uh, let's go to the faculty office and study more. Yes. I'm whatever with that. Dormitory lounge. Everyone has gathered. Oh boy, another night with not studying. What's wrong, everyone? Are you guys hungry? <laughs> yes, Agihiko. The answer to everyone being quiet is they're hungry. N not really. An awkward silence fills the room. Um... You know, it's almost summer break. Do you have any plans? I wish I could go to the beach. Hot sand, cool breeze, babes in bikinis. Xenux, hi, welcome. Yes, it's Persona 3 visual novel. <laughs> hi, how are you doing? My name is Alexa. I'm a human with fox ears. And uh, yeah, tonight we're streaming, uh, we're playing Persona 3 Portable. Uh, so far, I haven't done much, uh, just uh, studying. We uh, recently defeated the the shadow at the love hotel. That was something. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> now we have been studying for the exams that are going to start tomorrow. My plans for summer vacations. Travel to the other side of the country and never return. Damn, that is not a summer vacation. <laughs> oh, man. I did the shaking run away while being carried by a dog. <laughs> Flesher knows how we got scared by a snake. Damn. Uh, <laughs> I have to do my tolling in one sec. It's going to kidnap me if I don't. Yes, go do that, Balsin. Balsin. <laughs> Man, it sure would be nice. Somewhere in the south, where the water is crystal clear. But first, we have exams to worry about. Ugh, what a drag. Now, now, you'll be fine. But yeah, I'd love to go somewhere famous for its beautiful beaches, like Okinawa. Well, it's not Okinawa, but how about Yakushima? Mr. Chairman, I didn't realize you were here. I happen to be in the area. So I thought I'd drop by and tell you my schedule for next week. <coughs> Mitsuru, your father will be vacationing in Yakushima during the break. He will. You'll all have some time off after exams, right? Why don't you go and pay him a surprise visit? Seriously? We're gonna go on a trip? Yes! Beach babes, here I come! Ah, uh, Junpei. Ugh, men. <laughs> How about it, Mitsuru? But my father is a busy man. I don't want to ruin his vacation. <laughs> don't worry. No father would be upset with a daughter who came all that way to see him. You've all done a great job. You deserve to relax for a while. We already know when the next operation will be, so it should be fine. I don't know. <laughs> Yakushima! I'm begging you. All right. I guess everyone needs a break now and then. Let's do it. <laughs> something, something beach episode. <laughs> ah, the beach. I should design a special training regimen. Dude, I am stoked. I have to go buy a swimsuit. Hey, don't worry. I got an extra pair you can borrow. Nice try, man. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you going to swim too, Ikutsuki-san? I'm afraid I can't. I'll turn to dust if I'm exposed to sunlight. What next? You're gonna tell me you're bisexual? <laughs> Whoa, was that a joke? Of course it was. Or was it? If you know, you know. No, if you know, you know. Gosh, I wish Squidge was here. I swear, you, you guys are gonna have to take a, a shot every time we say bisexual vampire. 
Everyone is chattering about the vacation. In the midst of the excitement, Mitsuru quietly begins to leave her room. And we are gonna follow her. Oh. And Yukari. Mitsuru Senpai, wait! Uh sorry about the other day. Mmm, I don't know, man. I actually no, actually, yes, you are. I told Squid you're um you're a, a vampire, bisexual vampire duck. Actually, well, why not take a nice vacation in Saga Prefecture? <laughs> I got a little carried away. Don't worry about it. In a way, it's only logical that we go to Yakushima. The chairman said that no one who was responsible for the accident is still alive. But in reality, there is one witness who survived. There is? My father. Mitsuru walked away as Yukari looked on in shock. Senpai. Well, that is all regarding Yakushima. Now you will all need to concentrate on your final exams. Never thought I'd be talking with you like this. You're always cracking jokes. <laughs> this is no time for humor. But I'm happy to see everyone has a smile on their face. I'm excited about Yakushima, but that's another story. I can't concentrate. My brain has already crossed the ocean into Yakushima. <laughs> I'm sure you have a lot on your mind, but concentrate on the exams in front of you. I apologize, but I'm not sure my point cut across. Seems like there's this wall between us. Am I making any sense? Well, I'm going to go study now. Okay, seems to be studying. Shouldn't bother her. So am I going to? Jump in more like cool pay. Hey, you know it. Chip is just thinking of the bikini girls. Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, Johnny, will you do me a favor? Could you please play the uh, jump A sound for Xenux here on YouTube? Uh, as in, use your Twitch points for that. Would you please? Who's the man? Yeah, let's go. Thank you. <laughs> I am seeing those reactions. Okay, there we go. I've studied, I think I've studied enough. First semester, final exams begin today and last for five days. There's a box in the room. Oh yeah, it's the delivery you ordered from the TV show. Yeah, let's go. This question seems familiar. What form of natural magic was used to find water sources? Uh, wait, it was... Oh, fuck, um... I think it was dowsing? Yes, okay, it was. Oh, this question seems familiar. Some Europeans call this creature devil fish and refuse to eat it. It's the... Oh shit, was it the jellyfish or the octopus? I think it was the jellyfish. Ah, it was the octopus, damn it. Okay. Who established the Kamakura Shogunate? Uh, Taira no Masakado. God damn it! No, it was the other one. Shoot, I've already gotten too wrong. No. 
which is an example of a comma splice. So I don't study. I went. I learned. Yes. Uh, I don't remember if. Yo, what's up? Thank God, today's the last day of exams. Have you been doing? D don't ask. I can't wait to let off some steam. Don't you just love summer? It's the last day of exams. You had difficulty with the last question, but you still feel like you did pretty good. Nice. I'm done, baby. <laughs> the dark days of testing are finally over. The sun is shining bright. So, how'd you do? Hey, check it out. I aced PE. <laughs> well, that pretty much answers the question. <laughs> A real man doesn't dwell on the past. Oh, uh, man. I'm thinking ahead to Yakushima. Oh, yeah. That's coming up soon, isn't it? Are you ready? Totally. I guess I should start getting ready, too. I guess I should be more enthusiastic, huh? Hey, I don't have practice today. So, do you want to do something? What do you say? Sounds good. Where are we going? If you need to buy a swimsuit, I'd be happy to help. As if. All right, give me a sec. I'm gonna go grab my stuff from the locker room. Oh, I'll invite Fuka too. <laughs> Yukari left the classroom. Uh, hey. Um, I'm sorry about the way I've been acting. I was just in a bad mood, and I took it all out on you. I know it wasn't too cool of me. It's okay. All right. Thanks. Man, I want to hold Junpei. Let's go back to how things used to be between us, okay? All right. Let's get going. I want to hold Junpei. You met up with Akihiko at the school gate and went home together. Woohoo! Freedom at last! What should I do now? Don't worry. I'm sure you'll think of something. <laughs> yeah, I will. Hey, what are you doing here, Akihiko-san? Ikutsuki-san called me. I think he wants to talk about a new candidate. Does that mean another person is going to join? Yeah. Maybe. Oh, is it gonna be another girl? How should I know? <laughs> Fuka! What's wrong, Natsuki-chan? Do you think you can stay after school with me for a mandatory study session? There's, like, no one... Oh, you're going back to your home home today, huh? Okay, then never mind. Hey, wait. It's all right. Let's go. Sorry, I'll see you all later back at the dorm. <laughs> Fuka returned to the school grounds with Natsuki. I'm really surprised at how much she's changed. Ah, friendship. How beautiful. Adolescence is such a wonderful thing. So full of vibrancy. Mr. Chairman! Oh, hello. I just stopped by to pick someone up. I might as well introduce you to him now. Hello. Hey, Ken! <laughs> oh, hi, Ken Kun. What's up? You know him? Oh, the song and Akihiko's reaction are not good. He doesn't leave during the break because of his circumstances. Oh, I heard about that. Something about his parents. It was only me and my mom, but she got in an accident and she... she died. Yeah. We know nothing about Ken's dad, by the way. Never mentioned. It happened two years ago. So, as you can see, no. He, um, 
he did not lose his mom to the incident. Right now, one of his distant relatives is paying for his school expenses. Um, how many of them have dead parents? Yes. <clears throat> but staying at the elementary school dorm all by himself isn't proper for a child his age. What? Oh, it's okay, Jiratsu. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a good night. Kitsuki sounded like Jim and a cricket just because of his speech earlier. <laughs> so, I decided to move him to your dorm for the summer. To our dorm? Do you really think that's a good idea? Why, of course. He has the potential. Then, he's the new candidate? Um, mm, who knows? Who knows? I will be ending around midnight, so... Yes, but as you can see, he's still just an elementary school student, so it is merely a possibility for now. Uh... Are you Sonata Senpai? <laughs> um, yeah. I've heard a lot about you. You haven't lost a boxing match yet. It's a real honor to meet you. Ah, he's such a sweetheart. Yeah, well, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> oh boy. Finally some time off. Yakushima, here we come. Can't wait for Monday. And then one week of school till summer break. Freaking awesome! Aren't you getting, getting a little carried away? I mean, the trip is only a few days, a, a few days, and we'll still have to fight shadows over summer break. In other words, we can't afford to stop training in Tartarus. Oh my god, it's only 19 days left! I know, I know. But my energy level is so high during summer, no one can stop me. Anyway, tomorrow I'm gonna start packing, so if we're going to Tartarus, then let's do it today! Yeah, no. <laughs> Don't worry about the tickets to Yakushima. I've taken care of them. Although I was a little disappointed about the price. Turns out the fare for the ferry wasn't very fair. So the lady selling the tickets that she just ignored me. <sighs> I was a little hurt after that. Did you not did you not hear what Ikutsuki just said? I was a little disappointed about the price. Turns out the fare for the ferry wasn't very fair. The fare for the ferry wasn't very fair. Oh god, fucking damn it, Elmer. We should really take this time to forget about all the bad things that have been happening and have some fun. I just want to relax. What, are you an old lady or something? Live a little. Do I have to force you to have fun? Try me, bitch. Are you prepared to go to Yakushima? Not really. Well, we're leaving the day after tomorrow, early in the morning. Take tomorrow to pack your things. Impressive. You seem to have a lot of free time to spare, even though you had finals. I hope you did well on them. Me too, Mitsuru. Me too. <coughs> I almost forgot that we're all going to Yakushima together. I'm getting so excited now. <laughs> Try me, bitch! Ken's going to leave here. With us. Ken Ken seems very mature. I can't believe he's only in an elementary school. I wish someone would learn from his example. I wonder why he's like that. Yeah! The fairy fair is fairly fair for a fairy full of hair. Oh, god damn it, not you too. Yeah, 
And it's quite a while since we've met this guy, so... I'm afraid of mine, so I can teach you a valuable life lesson. Free of charge. Let's go! Mm, today we'll talk about... Oh dear me, I just can't concentrate. I get so worked up when I picture his face. Did something happen? He did it. He betrayed me. I won't sleep a wink tonight. President Tanaka seems upset. There was a young man who was working for me. He was a good kid who graduated from a well-known university. But this month, he wasn't able to meet his sales quota, so I docked his pay. After that, his self-confidence went down the drain. Then, he just stopped coming to work. What's he doing now? He probably locked himself inside his room. I don't care. President Tanaka seems unconcerned. I just mailed him a dismissal notice. COD. It's his fault that the company is in the red this month. All that money I wasted on training him. It makes me sick just thinking about it. Ugh. It's all about money. Of course, I love money. Money won't betray me like he did. Hmm. It's difficult growing up with no money. But you can't even afford shoes for PE class. Going barefoot in the gym during winter can be torture. I've been thinking, how would you like to model exclusively for my company? Your innocent appearance would be perfect for camouflaging the ugly realities of business. Think about it, will you? You won't ever have to worry about being able to buy shoes for PE. He says that President Tanaka has strong feelings for you. You feel like you understand him a little better. Do not get that... Do not that get that wrong, okay? He's not even hiding it. <laughs> Calm down, Glumgold. <laughs> Do not take it the wrong way when it said he has strong feelings for you. <coughs> Oopsies, I better get back to work. I have to reevaluate the budget. If I decide to hire someone new, it will cost a fortune to train them. Shipping them and done. Oh god, no, don't do that, please. That is disgusting. She is a minor, sir. Yes! Let's see, Shirt of Chivalry, and... Mmm, nah. Nah. <coughs> no new recordings. Not like I can do much. Oh right! Yes. <coughs> yep yep. Hey, this copy is make I'm making is turning out pretty good. Um, that was Maragi, wasn't it? I'll give you back the one I borrowed, and here's the copy too. That makes two. Go on, take them. Hey, let's go. Uh no. <laughs> God fucking damn it. <clears throat> oh, who can you carry are here? I came to look at bathing suits with Yukari chan. I've never bought a bathing suit besides the school one. But I don't think Yukari chan is really up for this. 
I came to pick out a new bathing set, but there's nothing that interests me. Although I don't think it's this shop selection. It could just be that I'm not up for a new swimsuit at all. Zombies in the posters of the horror flick are staring at you. Your courage has increased. Let's go. Hey. Mr. <coughs> <coughs> Senpai and Akihiko Senpai are not here today, so I can't go to Tartarus. Besides, we're looking for Yakushima soon. That reminds me, I wonder how Yukari-chan is doing. She didn't seem very enthusiastic about buying a bathing suit. <sighs> it's not that I don't like Akashima. Usually I love being out in the sun and swimming in the ocean. I'm just not really up for it this time. Dude, I'm so ready for this! Look how ladies, here I come! <sighs> is that all you think about, Junpei? You sure know how to leave your troubles behind. I wish I could forget my worries as easily as you do. You gotta get the most out of life. I know you're right, but still. Okay. Let's go to the town map and try to see if I can raise a little bit of my courage. Oh, wait, no, it's Sunday. Dang it! I forgot about that. Um. Damage is practicable. Hey! The best part of the beach is getting sunburned while playing in the sand. <laughs> no, not really. Uh, let's go to the Valor room because I haven't been there. So, check request and companion. Undertake quest. Onimaru Kunitsuna. <laughs> oh! Please go feed the cat! God damn it! I could have done this. Ugh. Hermit like hermit craft thermite. What? I got to tell from third block. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I'll try to do the other two and uh, in time so that I can also do the ones that I have like. A set time to do. Hermit, not hermite. Dang it. 
I have enough money, so... Dang it. Let's try one more. Okay. I found a missing girl the other day. I tried questioning her, but her answers didn't make any sense. She said some kid saved her from an attack by a black thing. She left her reward with us, so I'll hand it over to you. Oh, okay. Let's see. Let's sell stuff. Okay, uh, actually let me check, so, equip, cause I did get some new things for, uh, I got the champion gloves for nothing, nah. Hmm, sure. Yeah, Way of Life is really, really good. Hey, Meep, how are you doing? Welcome! <laughs> oh, right. Sure, whatever. I'll stay here as a customer. Let's raise the charm. And now let's go to Yakushima. Your trip to Yakushima begins today and lasts for four days and three nights. It's time for you to get ready. Inside the Yakushima bound ferry, you will soon arrive at Yakushima. Awesome! There it is! Yakushima! Wow, so many tropical plants. <laughs> Take a look at that one. <sighs> mm. But the atmosphere is still heavy. Um. Poor Fuka, she's just trying to raise the spirits. I may be uh, having cramps, taking a break from trophy hunting and Last of Us 2, and planning stuff for Mom's birthday, however. Wow, everyone is feeling tired. And it's only Tuesday. But a week. <laughs> I'm feeling good. I'm also feeling a bit tired. Ah. It's totally amazing, huh? Man, this is so awesome. I'm not even kidding. Junpei kun. <sighs> But no, since 8 a.m. with cross. Oh, those kind of cramps. Is it is it the kind of cramps I'm thinking about? Captain, it's still two. What a week, Captain! It's still Tuesday. The Kirijo family Yakushima Mansion. Wow. It's like we're in an episode of Lifestyles of the Rich and Fabulous. <laughs> Welcome back, my lady. Oh, God. Um, I'm actually not on mine. I had it like a last week or so. Oh, boy. Yeah. Can we get some Fs in the chat for Meeps, please, everyone? We won't be here long, but I'll be relying on you during our stay. 
You have maids? And you must be her schoolmates, correct? Welcome to the Kirijo vacation Gosh, home. Gosh, um, by that. Please follow me. Um, is this the right place? Oh, uh, by the way, I don't know if I'm I am going to trigger to make someone trigger a command, but I don't know if you're into tea. But usually, what I take uh, the tea that I drink whenever I have cramps is um, ah, what is it? Uh, it's um, Melissa. It's Melissa tea. It it helps me a lot with the cramps. Dude, real life maids. There we go. Would you care for some tea? That would have been, been very nice. nice. Thank you. I knew she was from an important family, but this definitely confirms it. Hmm. <clears throat> Hello, Mr. Johnny. Please calm down. You already have the you're here. <laughs> I think you're big or something. That's, I mean, it's different going to maid cafes and having actual maids. Also, you guys want to know a joke that we have, that we've made when Una got to this part in the game? I don't trust. You can trust that man. Don't worry, Elmer. You can trust that man. But do you want to know? <laughs> you guys want to know what what some of the viewers and I called called him when he when he appeared? <gasps> Impressive looking gentleman reminds me of Detective Dad. Still, I can mind. We called him <laughs> Big Boss. <laughs> A man walked in from the far it's door. It's good to see you. <clears throat> oh, he left. Goodbye. Was that? It's not the eye patch. It's the expression. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Her father? Dude, talk about scary. He's not gonna make us walk the plank, is he? Uh, Chupé. Don't be stupid. God damn it, Chupé. <laughs> we won't be here long, but make yourself at home. Sweet, this is gonna rock. Hey, you wanna go to the beach? It's right there. Dude, this place rules. Come on, let's go. What, already? I mean, sure, but let me get changed first. <laughs> then I'll see you there. I'm not gonna waste a single minute. Oh, Junpei. <sighs> Yakushima at the beach. <clears throat> After changing into your swimsuit and arriving at the beach, you see Junpei and Akihiko talking. Uh, got my sandals on, giving my feet a chance to breathe. See, the guy does not go anywhere without his without his cap. Yep. Summer's here. You can tell even that at this distance that Jumpe is extremely uh, excited. He be any louder. But yikes, what's with Akihiko Senpai's swimsuit? I can feel my face getting red just looking at it. <laughs> Yo, about time you guys got here. Okay, here's the thing. For context, because we can only see like half of their bodies. Um, Akihiko is using, is wearing speedos. I don't know what's going on, the military has mistaken me for the likes of you. Oof. Huh? Something wrong, Yukari? That's a pretty small swimsuit. What? Don't you know? Swimsuits like this reduce water resistance and... Oh, that's okay. It doesn't need to be justified. <laughs> hey, Junpei, what's the matter? You look even dumber than usual. Talk about a feast for oh. the eyes. <laughs> there we go. Yucatan's wearing a more aggressive model than I had imagined. Chop! No. 
Could her boldness come from the confidence that her club training has toned her bod? What? And check out our leader. She's one cute mermaid herself. Those curves she usually keeps covered are looking good. I can't tear my eyes away. Oh my god, Junpei. I'm actually gonna sleep now. Super sorry because I set up to 4 a.m. Also, damn, punch your fist guy has some speedos on. <laughs> you go, ballin. You go. Have a nice sleep. See you, see you tomorrow. You know what? I'll go with the thank you. Just because I, I am going to thank for every time that I get a, a compliment in this fucking game. Man, the beach is so great! I love this place! <clears throat> is that umbrella taken? Oh, and here we have the lovely Miss Yamagishi. Wow, Fuka. I had no idea you were so... I mean, you should wear a swimsuit more often. Oh, come on. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. <laughs> oh, poor Fuka. I want to hug her and cover her with the towel. Oh, stop that creepy laugh, you perv. And here's our final contestant. Hmm? Is something wrong? Wow. Mitsura Senpai, you're beautiful. Yeah, your skin is flawless. Did you already put on sunscreen? No, not yet. Jinpei is... Jinpei's just Jinpei. Psst. Hikko-senpai. Level with me. Which one's your type? <laughs> Akihiko and Jinpei are whispering to each other. I love... Huh? Really? I love how you can actually hear that they recorded a Akihiko whispering like, oh. Keep your voice down. Man, really? No joke? What are you two smirking about? For <laughs> nothing. <laughs> okay. Man, this is great. I'm in heaven. How about a swim? Ba -ba 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 -ba! Charge! Whoa, I'm not letting you win that easy. Ah, those two. You feel uneasy. As if someone is watching you. Oh, it's cold! <laughs> the feeling subsided. Oh yeah, um unlike um unlike in uh the regular one uh, you only have your team here, there are no other people on the beach, and there's no music. Isn't this place nice? I came here often when I was young, but I don't remember it looking quite like this. Thank you, Mitsuru Senpai. Thank you so much. I could die right now with no regrets. Ugh, this is such a nice place. Why does stupid have to be here and spoil it all? I'm like such an help. You like it? You like that, huh? He's splashing water. Don't go around imagining things, okay? The world's back in with cracker crackers. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Now I can't resist splashing girls at the beach. <laughs> I'm gonna splash more water on you. You, hey, you're gonna pay for that. Take this. Everyone seems to be having fun. That's a good thing, I suppose. Our operations during the dark hour put a lot of stress on us. We should relax a little and rest up. Under the parasol is the optimal place. I can't even, oh, I can actually. Oh yeah, I can save the game. Haha, <laughs> lol. Oh. 
Hi, Hassan Terrell. How are you doing? Welcome. <coughs> How are you doing? Welcome to my stream. My name is Alexa. I'm a human with Fox years and tonight um, I'm playing Persona 3 Portable. <sighs> but yeah, you guys, uh, um, besides like talking to them, there isn't really much else to do here at the beach. So let's go back to the Carrillo summer home. No boobs, look at her eyes, no boobs, just eyes. Zet? No. Fuck you. Yeah. Aw, oh, you suck. Well, I'm gonna stay a little longer. Later, man. Takes out so. Sounds for your next. Dendon deliver park. No idea what that is. <laughs> what? Tilting and looking like someone just snapped her neck. Meanwhile, at the entrance to the Corrigio Mansion. It's been a while. I'm glad that you're in good health. Our guests are residents of the dorm, I presume. By the way, by the way, in Reload, it's actually uh, Shinji's voice actor who voices uh, Mitsuru's father. I'm sorry for bringing such a crowd. I heard you told them about the incident. Why did you hide it so long? I wasn't hiding it. I've told you time and again. None of the blame is yours. But... Two in harmony surpasses one in perfection. Oh, sorry. That has been our guiding principle since the Corrigio family separated from the Nanjo group. Hmm. You must learn to trust in others, Mitsuru. There are things in this world that cannot be accomplished alone, no matter how many sacrifices you make. Yes, Father. You accessed our database, didn't you? That's another thing. Why didn't you ask me directly instead of using this trip as an excuse? I'm... I'm sorry. Bring them here. All of them. Yeah, it's most probably the suit and the, and the eye I patch. I have no intention of concealing the truth from them. I've made preparations to disclose everything. Everything? There's a girl named Takaba in your group, correct? For her to awaken to her power, it must be fate. Father? <clears throat> so yeah, let's end the stream on a depressing note here. <laughs> Everyone has gathered after a sudden invitation from Mitsuru's father. From what I understand, Mitsuru has already given you the short version. Oh, yes. Well, it's true. We adults are to blame. If I could have atoned for it with my life, I would have done so. Are you sure not that much too? Much evil laughter in the background. I do have to play those games too. Now, I have no choice but to rely on you. What my father wanted to create with those monsters' power... Kitty <laughs> ...was a time manipulation device. That's what he was trying to do? Imagine, if you could control the flow of time. Eliminate unwanted events before they occur. With such a device, you could shape the future to your liking. Damn, that's insane. However, under my father's direction, the research began to stray from its original goal. In his later years, my father seemed to have only nihilism in his heart. 
Now that I think about it, his madness may have resulted from his struggle to break free from that. It's only natural that you want to know the truth. And it's my duty to tell you. <laughs> Old footage is being played under the large monitor in the room. What's this? This is the only existing footage of the accident, recorded by a scientist who was at the scene. A video recording? It looks like the scene of an accident. The video quality is poor, making the shown man's face unrecognizable. I pray that this recording reaches safe hands. That voice! My employer has become obsessed with a loathsome idea. And this experiment should have never even been conceived. I'm afraid what I've done will result in an unprecedented disaster. But if I hadn't, the entire world may have paid the price. The entire world? Please, listen carefully. The shadows that were amassed here have been dispersed as a result of the explosion. To end this nightmare, you must eliminate all of them. I am to blame for this. I knew the risks, but I was blinded by the promise of success. And so I didn't raise any objections. It is all my fault. Huh? The man was visible on the screen for a brief moment, but the video ended after a large explosion. Dad? You mean... that was... Yeah. Father. His name was Eiichiro Takaba. He was the head researcher at the time, and a very talented man. But we are the ones who are responsible. We pushed him to continue the research. The Kirijo group is to blame for his death. I... I can't believe it. So, that means... my dad caused it all? The Dark Hour, Tartarus, the people who died in that incident? It was all his fault? Uh, you okay? So that's why you were hiding this? Because you felt sorry for me? Is that it? No, Takiba, I... I don't want your pity! Talk about- Poor Mitsuru didn't even know. Uh, um, shouldn't someone go after her? <sighs> Please, go after her. I Thank understand. You. you decided to head after Yukari. <clears throat> I believed in him for so long. For those of you who are curious, this song is called Living with Determination. Oh, this is too much. You found Yukari standing at the beach. Remember what I told you at the hospital? How my dad died when I was little? You understand now, right? He died in that incident. Nobody knew the truth, so there were all sorts of rumors. Because he was in charge of the research team, people were really mean to me and my mom. We even had to move a few times. That must have been tough. Yeah, but all this time, I kept telling myself it wasn't his fault. I loved him a lot, and I believed he'd never do anything wrong. I received a letter back in the spring. It was from him, written ten years ago. It cracked me up, because even though it said to my family, it was pretty much all about me. <clears throat> that only made me believe in him more. When I found out I had a special power, I thought it was fate. I was scared, but I thought if I cooperated with the Kirijo group, I might find out what really happened. That's why I agreed to fight using my persona. 
But it turns out, all of that was for nothing. That's not true. <laughs> You're just trying to make me feel better. Why does reality have to be so harsh? This, uh, this pride is... It breaks my heart. I tried so hard to fight my fear, <coughs> and this is what I get. Maybe I'm just jealous of Mitsuru Senpai. I mean, why my father and not hers? <laughs> I'm a horrible person, aren't I? Don't blame yourself. <laughs> Stop acting like you have all the answers. Well, unfortunately, that's what the game gives me. I'm sorry. My head's a mess. I'm so afraid. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm totally lost. Tell me. What should I do? So he turned to her to snap back at her. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, you just told me to not have all the answers. <laughs> Take your time. I'm sorry for acting like this. You've lost your parents too. <clears throat> but I'm all right now. I'm used to dealing with stressful situations. Thanks. Yukari is laughing, her eyes red from the crying. Hey! <sighs> Yeesh, what's taking you so long? Everybody's waiting. It's almost the dark hour, so you should get back. I almost forgot. It doesn't matter where you are when the dark hour comes. Sheesh, it's just common sense. Even I remembered. Quick, Jupiter, do you have all the answers? You know, I don't think he does. I've been thinking lately. I, I don't know, uh, Meeps. I think, like, Junpei is the last person on Earth to have all the answers. Once you awaken to the power of Persona, you remember everything that happens during the dark hour. It's like trading away your innocence. In exchange for power, you can no longer look away from the things you don't want to see. So, I guess I'm stuck with you guys, huh? Yep. <laughs> now that that's settled, let's get back. You feel as if you are being watched. Regardless, you decided to return. She was just here with a big revelation about her father and gets mad when we know the answers. <laughs> Your second morning in Yakushima. You're going with the girls to see a large crypto myriad tree, considered a world heritage site. Ah, <sighs> the air is so fresh. I never thought a walk in the woods could be so enjoyable. You can't do this in Iwatodai. <sighs> oh, so listen to this. <laughs> Calm down. Junpei was acting like such a pervert yesterday, and I didn't know how to react. It's probably a good thing we came out here by ourselves. Huh? Oh, yeah. Jimmy should be safe from that anger. If his IQ were dynamite, he looks like he doesn't have enough to blow his out Oh my god! <gasps> Meeps! <coughs> Mitsuru received an incoming call on her phone. Mitsuru speaking. One moment, let me switch over to speakerphone. Please continue. Well, I'm at the lab here on the island, and a machine that was considered inoperable suddenly left the facility on its own. A machine? What kind of machine is it? I need detailed information to locate anything other than shadows. It's a combat vehicle, an anti-shadow weapon to be precise. A combat vehicle? You mean like a tank? We gotta let the others know. Myself. We're not currently with the others, so it might take some time for us all to assemble. It's a Metal Gear! I see. 
Well, regardless, I want you to handle this as soon as possible. I'm on my way there now. If the target cannot be captured, do we have permission to destroy it? <laughs> I highly doubt you'll be able to destroy it. What? Then how are we supposed to stop it? Just do your best. I'll call you again later. It could scan the Wait, call. No one's answering. Don't worry about it. Let's go back and get our equipment. Then we can have Yamagishi's persona scan the area. Although this island is quite large. Jeez, oh, where could they be? <laughs> Meanwhile, on Yakushima Beach, Shubi and Akihiko are there. Huh? Are the girls not up yet? Man, what lazy bones. The ocean's not gonna sit around and wait for us, you know? You're right. Once the sun sets, the water temperature drops, tiring you out much faster. Huh? Uh, I guess. Is that what you're worried about? That reminds me. One of the maids gave me a letter as we were leaving. Well, hey, Junpei! The letter Akihiko was holding is now in Junpei's hands. Yeah, nice. no buts! I ain't letting any love letters from a lovely maid slip through my fingers. Oh, how dumb can you get? Ah, let's see here. I don't know, between this and and Alejandro's you're a moron, I think I like Alejandro's line more. This says we've gone to see the Joman cedar tree. Huh? It looks like Fuka's handwriting. Oh man, we're at an island resort in the middle of summer. Why don't they go to the beach? That's just not right. <laughs> well, it is your fault. What do you mean? I, I just wanted to lighten up the mood. I don't want to hear it. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. We're on our own now. Just the guys. If you're out of ammo, you pick it up on the battlefield. That's one of the most basic military tactics. That is fucking dumb, and I'm pretty sure it does not work, Jumpe. We'll call this Operation Babe Hunt. Babe Hunt? You mean like pick up girls? What do you think, Akihiko-san? With you on the squad, we're guaranteed to succeed. Nah, I'll pass. <laughs> oh, scared you're gonna lose? What? Hey, I'm not judging you. Most guys would rather back down than lose. All right, we're doing this. Okay, with Mitsuru and our leader gone, I'm in command. Huh? <laughs> the loser buys dinner at Hagakure when we get back home. Commence the operation. Loser? What do you mean, loser? Wait, we're gonna go hit on him separately? <laughs> Hi there, miss. Wanna hang out? Oh, I see. You're here with your boyfriend. <laughs> uh, hey there. Say, do you know the most efficient swimming technique? The butterfly stroke uses your leg strength to... Oh, I... I see. <laughs> <laughs> Need someone to rub sunblock on your hard-to-reach areas? Oh, don't worry. I'm really good at it. Uh, you're trying to get a tan? I'm in the way? Oh, excuse me then. <laughs> All right, Junpei, what's going on here? What do you mean? That indirect approach of yours isn't gonna help you score. What? So you're saying I should use cheesy come-ons like yours? Honesty is the best policy. I mean, who wants to listen to a guy drone about muscles and... <laughs> Gentlemen, our heroes, ladies, gentlemen, and gentlemen. Oh, that is, you know what? Yeah, that is a cool one, Johnny. What's up? You see something? <laughs> Talk about saving the best for last. Now that's what I'm talking about. Man, she's cute. I agree. Hey, Akihiko, damn. This is our last chance to make up for failures. All right, here I go. 
Hey! Hey, how's it going? I noticed you've been uh, staring at the ocean. <laughs> Look at Junpei blushing. <laughs> Junpei did, just don't splash her. Yeah. So, um, do you come here often? <laughs> no, my monkey's not my circus. <laughs> my name's J J J Junpei. Ju Ju Junpei? Oh, don't worry, I, I just want to talk. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's more fun than standing here all by yourself, isn't it? I am looking for a human. Uh, oh, yeah? You are not the one. Oh! Wow, he got shot down faster than I expected. <laughs> She's a tough one, senpai. Meet, do I have some news for you? <laughs> Don't worry about me. Hello there. Say, uh, do you like the ocean? Is your question directed at me? Oh, um, uh, yeah. I, I like the ocean, too. Hey, I heard that triathletes who train at the beach perform better than those who practice indoors. Makes sense, doesn't it? That type of information is irrelevant to me. <laughs> she does not hold any punches. I won. I talked to her longer than you did. It doesn't matter how long you talk to her. <sighs> Ugh, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, stop crying. You're making me feel bad. <gasps> she looks surprised for some reason. What's she looking at? <clears throat> uh, she took off. Uh, good question. I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think that's the one. Uh, hey Johnny, could you please go, um, search who voices I guess? It wasn't because of us, was it? Who knows? Wait, she's heading into the forest. Isn't it dangerous for a skinny girl like her to wander around all alone in there? Oh wow! Amazing! Nice one, strategist! Nice one! Why? You think there might be bears or something? <laughs> I, I don't know about that, but we should go after her. Human Sugi Forest. You became separated from Yukari and the others. You says a strong gaze, more palpably than before. It's a girl. She must be the one who has been watching you. May I help you? Now I am certain I have found you. She suddenly embraced you. I have been searching for you. My highest priority is to be with you. It doesn't seem like she wants to let go. <laughs> there she is. Wait, what? What's going on here? Get ready for the best line ever. Jope and Akihiko have arrived. Even then, it doesn't seem like she plans on letting go. I see. So that's her preference. Best line in the entire game. Good at everybody. <laughs> Explains why we got the cold shoulder. <coughs> there you are. Get out, everybody. Jupe, what are you doing here? We've been looking all over for you. <laughs> yes, I said the best line ever in the game. I mean, um, what are you doing in the middle of the woods in your swimsuits? You have no idea what we've... Huh? Why is she hugging you? <sighs> She's 
says I'm high, her priority? What? Listen, we've encountered a problem. I'm sorry to interrupt your vacation, but I need you all to go back to the house and prepare for battle. That won't be necessary. We found what we were looking for. What do you mean? Even Ikutsuki is here. Oh, you had me worried. You don't have permission to leave the lab on your own, I guess. I know. The girl answered while still hugging you. The Kirichu family Yakushima Mansion, reception room. I apologize for all the trouble. Everything is under control now. <laughs> so, what happened to capturing the tank? Oh, that's been taken care of. Come here, I guess. Coming. The girl you just met walked in. This is Igis. As you can see, she's a mechanical maiden. I am Igis. My mission is to destroy shadows. I have been assigned to seize. Effective immediately. <sighs> no way. It's like she's alive. This is unbelievable. She's so cute, but she's a robot. <laughs> Anti-shadow weapons were created 10 years ago to combat uncontrollable shadows. Igust was the last to be made, and she's the only one that still remains today. An anti-shadow weapon? Does that mean she... Yes. I am capable of operating the persona Palladian. She suffered major damage in combat and has remained in the lab ever since. It's still unclear as to why she suddenly reactivated herself this morning. Well, I hope you will all get along. An anti-shadow weapon with a will of her own? This is amazing! Um, by the way, when I saw you earlier, it seemed like you knew her. Yes, it is very important for me to be by her side. Johnny, don't. Hmm, perhaps her identification system is malfunctioning. Or maybe she's still half asleep. This is quite interesting. Hmm. I don't think it's that. Well, I can ponder this later. <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you all. You can participate in a wide range of recreational activities here. There's a tennis court, a pool table, even a karaoke machine. Would you care to hear me sing? <laughs> uh... <laughs> they're, they're all like, mm, pass. Day three of your vacation on Yakushima. You came to the beach with everyone, including Aegis. Man, it's already the third day of our trip. It's too bad we have to go home tomorrow. I'd totally stay longer if I could. But I can't complain. A lot of cool things happened while we were here. How can he be so full of energy? We were all up so late last night. Do we have a mission at the beach today? <laughs> nah, it's nothing like that. We just came here to have some fun. Do you understand what it means to have fun, I guess? Of course. Recreation is the refreshment of one's mind and body. Exactly. Well, you sure know a lot about us humans. All right, let's take one last dip before we leave. <laughs> no discrimination towards sentient robots. I don't know, man. Junpei ran to the water's edge, dragging Igus uh, along. Oh, hold on, Junpei Kun. Is it okay for Igus to go in the ocean? Oh, I'm sure she's waterproof. Uh oh. Only I guess returned. What's wrong, I guess? It is best that we all engage in this activity together. An activity in which only one person derives enjoyment is not the optimal method to have fun. Ugh, do we have to? Despite her words earlier, Yukari is having fun in the water with Igis. Apparently she can. We should join them. Okay. Suki and Mitsuru also joined in. 
Are you enjoying yourself? We've been quite busy during our time here, but it looks as if we can relax a bit today. I hope so. Hey, Akihiko-san, come on! It's your turn! My turn? What are they doing? <laughs> I'm glad to see everyone is having so much fun. I've already told you what time the ship will be arriving tomorrow, yes? I'll most likely head over to the port early, so don't be late. Okay, I'll let everyone know. We can get back down to business again once we're back at the door. Got it. Ladies and gentlemen! This again? I guess we should go too. Social link has reached level 5. Your power to create personas of the full arcana has grown. Seize determination in battle has been enhanced. Party members cannot take a mortal blow for you in battle. <sighs> when you receive a blow that would otherwise kill you, your ally will take the hit for you during battle. The Yakushima vacation has ended. You return to the dormitory. Hey Jackie, how you doing? Yeah, risking it all for a friend. You were asking, Jackie? <sighs> There's only four people that come to this place at this time. The punks at the hangout are whooping it up as usual. <laughs> okay, I'm fine. Shinjiro is sitting by himself away from the group. hitting the desk, but I might. Three dark figures approach Shinjiro. You seem to be in great pain. You guys. Ah, shit, it's them. You mean those three? Wow, they're freaky. Shut up, let's go. The punk slapped the Yang out. There's only four people lying around here, and they're evil Jesus. Cute they them, twink! <laughs> you did not just call... You did not just call Jin cute they them, twink. Redhead lonely to cosplayer, and your average drug dealer? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Why do they always run and hide when I approach? Yeah, because it kind of looked like Jesus, but evil version. Also, put on a fucking shirt, my guy, I swear. To be fair, they all are your average drug dealer. T technically, that's Jin. It's Jin who gives Shinji his drugs, so... Drag that- No, drug dealer! What the fuck, Elmer? They're like back alley rats. Beats me. Jin. <laughs> Give him the capsules. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like how uh, how Takai is like, why do they run away every time they see me? And Shinji's like, yeah, I wonder. <laughs> you had the drugs mentioned. The smart looking guy, had, I'm sorry, no, I'm actually going to switch smart looking guy to actually cute they them twink. 
I will I will now do this until everyone has their names on top of that. <laughs> the cute they them twink <laughs> and it's Shinjiro or something. Thanks. I'll pay you the same as Hold up. This time information will suffice. Your acquaintances have been busy lately. I'm referring to their activities on nights when the moon is full. They spend a great deal of time in the tower as well. Why did they take this burden upon themselves? <laughs> you do know, don't you? But you don't wish to say. Is it because they are your friends? No, I've got nothing to do with them. Then tell us. Wouldn't you agree these pills are more important than a bunch of strangers? Huh. I don't know the details, but... For authentic coding for overdue school projects. Yeah, I'm also just gonna wait until this is over. The change your portrait. <laughs> um, <clears throat> he looks so scared. Yeah, he does. And angry. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna wait for this to end. I'm gonna save and then I'm gonna go. Supposedly, if you destroy all those creatures, then the tower will disappear, and with it, the dark hour. You mean, they intend to eliminate the dark hour? Why would they do such a thing? With the power they have... What? They wish to destroy the Tower of Demise as well? Tower of Demise? Bye, Jackie. Have a good night. Who wouldn't want to take out that damn tower? Uh, try not to go to bed too late, okay? It's it's not good for you. Easy, Takaya. Yes. Yes. The three left. <laughs> I can't go back. Not after what happened. Oh man, I'm beat. It seems to take forever to get back. Yeah, it was a tiring trip. Please rest up so you're ready for the next operation. Yeah, yeah. I don't have any plans for summer break, so I can fight shadows all you want. Ah, you must be really bored. Shut up, Yukatan. Whatever. We just have to defeat those last six and it'll all be over. The loss will get better, and everything will be back to normal, right? That's why we have to try our hardest. This is vicious little blue hair, just like a certain drink I- Oh my god! Ah, uh, I'm gonna- I'm gonna- I'm not even gonna talk to them, I'm just gonna save. Ah! Um. You got to bed at 4 a.m. It could be worse, but mm, try not to do it again. Try to get to bed just a teensy little bit sooner, okay? Oh damn, had I taken a one minute less, I would I would have 33 hours point. Mm, that is not good for you. I just hope you um, it doesn't come to bite you in the ass later on. Spencer so writing this down a big music and energy drinks and buy me the ass later on. But tomorrow I have no classes at least. Mm. Well, at least... Wait, if you don't have classes, then... 
Why don't you go to bed now and work on that project tomorrow? Wouldn't it be better that way? Look, if there is something that this game actually teaches you, is to not overdo it with, with your projects and your work, okay? You also have to rest. And yes, to take it from me, I am constantly telling Vitas not to go to, to bed late uh, because of his work. Which, by the way, is exactly what you're doing now. But yes, do try to go to bed now. And hey, it's one thing if you're feeling like super inspired right now, do that. And then go to bed but if you feel like you're feeling like you're getting really 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 tired <clears throat> the game taught me to bite the bullet and act fast when the situation calls for it well but the situation is not calling for it especially because you don't have classes tomorrow if you don't have classes tomorrow I think it would be best for you to rest just clear your head and tomorrow get up take your time eat something That'll fill you up. Breathe in and get to work. I believe that would be the best option for you, honestly. Oh, goodness. Oh boy. I actually want to read this tomorrow. I shouldn't leave everything for the last minute. Well, <sighs> this Friday, yeah, due date on Friday plus another project due tomorrow plus another one. Wait, so the one you have, you are doing today is the one you have to deliver on Friday? Hmm. Yeah, you shouldn't leave everything for the last minute, but I'm not going to lecture you too much on that because I myself already did that a lot too. <clears throat> but yes, do try not to leave everything for the last minute. Hmm. But if you have another project due tomorrow, um, I would say spend tomorrow doing that project that you have due. Then spend um, the rest of the time doing the one that you have due on Thursday and then do the one that you're doing now. But I also need to debug it and that's gonna take a good while. That is true. That is true. Mm. I wish I could give you a, a tip on that, but unfortunately there are no shortcuts in debugging. Well, of course I do! Again! Like I said, I live with a programmer. I know what it is. I know how it is. But yeah. Mm. I would really advise you to not do anything else tonight and to just go to bed. Maybe... There's one shortcut. Oh boy! <laughs> I don't think there is! <laughs> what is that shortcut? Oh yeah, the shortcut is don't. <laughs> it's not a f no. <laughs> so for fuck's sake.
shit, I'm gonna screenshot that shit and I'm gonna tell Vitush. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work. I don't think that excuse is going to work in the action in an actual job. <laughs> Here's the thing. Um have you tried the Pomodoro? Hey, it works for but that is different. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure they won't. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. Have you tried the Pomodoro... Um, have you tried the, po the Pomodoro technique? There are actually a lot of streamers on Twitch who do that. I don't know about uh, YouTube, but there are a lot of... Um, yeah, why don't you try that? Hmm... Maybe you could actually try and do all of the projects, a little bit of all of the project, all three projects in one day. If you use the Pomodoro clock. A lot of, like I said, a lot of streamers have been actually doing that. So you can use their streams for that. You uh, work for a bit, then take a break, then pick up the other project and do that. Then take a break and then pick up the other project and take a break and so on and so forth mm, it could work yeah you try doing that and hey Sonic is a feature also happened with sonic frontiers homing boost and i'm pretty sure that one did sega try to use that excuse in 06 because that one did not that nobody bought that one <laughs> but you here's also something else to keep in mind Jackie try not to make your if you're feeling ugh, again god damn it I really need to check all the Persona 2 um soundtrack but yeah here's another thing for you to try uh, to keep in mind Jackie um uh, try not to worry too much about making the projects perfect, okay? Yeah, it's just gonna put more stress on you, and that's not a good idea. Hey, if you don't get, like, a terrific grade, it's not the end of the world. What matters with this is that you learn. In this case, even if what you learn is... Mm. to um, try and uh, time things better and to not procrastinate to the point where you leave everything to the last minute. For his journal when I try to horse, though this is a group project, I do look up to one of my colleagues, so I don't want to disappoint her. Ah, you look up to a colleague, huh? Here's the thing. If you're feeling uh, too overwhelmed, why don't you try asking her for help? Why don't you try asking all of your colleagues for that? I'm sure that they'll understand, as long as you promise not to do it again. Well, then again, given the time that it is, that's way too much pressure on yourself. And combining that stress with lack of rest, recipe for disaster. Yes. Yes. But yeah, uh, here's the thing, Jackie. Let's all go to sleep. Let's all drink a glass of water and go to sleep, rest. And tomorrow I will try to find I will try to find a um a Pomodoro stream for you to watch. Can I ask her because circumstances on her own side. Plus she already knows I'm less of a lot. Oh yikes. Hmm. Yeah, that makes it a bit um that makes it a bit harder. But yeah, I'll try to help you out by finding a Pomodoro stream for you. You don't exactly like even need to watch one direct. You can just watch a VOD. Those also work. But yeah. I'm gonna go now, everyone. Uh, 
I'll send you the streams tomorrow. <sighs> In the meantime, please get some rest. Yeah, yeah, I, w I will post it on Discord. But yeah, in the meantime, everyone, get some rest, and, uh... Ugh, I'm gonna skip again. God damn it. But yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why does this feel like it's all the siblings? Anyway. <laughs> yeah. I will see you guys tomorrow for the first episode of for the first stream of medieval so yeah I will see you guys <laughs> tomorrow <laughs> have a good night everyone Oh, yeah.